In South Asia, landlocked between China to the north and India to the south, is Nepal, a geographically small country with a population of approximately 30 million people. Nepal is among the poorest countries in the world and currently ranks 157th out of 187 countries on the United Nations Human Development Index. This index combines data from three major areas, educational attainment, income, and life expectancy. Compared to the rest of the globe, Nepali people have very low life expectancy. Poverty, disease, and malnutrition are some of the main factors that contribute to the poor health of many Nepalis. About 47% of children under 5 are physically stunted in height, and 36% are underweight. Although there has been a declining trend for these rates over the past five years, they remain alarmingly high. The poor and the disadvantaged have the greatest health struggles, as they are less capable of accessing health services through private, out-of-pocket contributions, and are therefore reliant on public health services that are often inadequate and do not have the necessary resources to meet the demand. There is a strong need in Nepal to help those who are disadvantaged or living in poverty receive access to basic health care. In the small district of Bhaktapur, it is the City Memorial Hospital that fulfills this need. Focusing primarily on the two most disadvantaged groups, women and children, the hospital provides quality, accessible health care services to the community of Bhaktapur, all at a low fee for the patients. Sham Dobadel, a co-founder of the hospital along with his wife Ranjana, was inspired to create the hospital after a tragic experience that greatly affected his life. Siddhi is the name of our son. So he died in a road accident. Due to lack of healthcare center in Bhaktapur, uh, my son died on the way to Kathmandu. So thinking that other families should not suffer as we did, so then we focused on to start the healthcare facilities for the poor and marginal community of Bhaktapur. This hospital must be able to cater the people of Bhaktapur in a tertiary level so that the children and women of Bhaktapur may not need to go outside the Bhaktapur border for the treatment. Women and children make up approximately two-thirds of the Bhaktapur population. Although by population they are the majority, on average they experience greater barriers to health care than men. Women and children are para parasite to men. They are totally dependent to men. If man gets sick, if he has some health problem, he can easily go and have consultation either at a clinic or consult with the doctors or can go directly to the hospital because he earns money, he has his money. Normally, men does not give money to the women. I mean, they give little whatever is needed for the day-to-day -day expenses. If the woman gets sick and if she needed to treat and she has to ask the husband, and uh, husband uh, normally uh, do not want to spend money for, for the health care. I mean, it is uh, I mean, quite surprising to hear like this, but it's a true fact. With that vision, we started a hospital for women and children. So the thinking that no women and children should be deprived of the health facilities, health care facilities. The hospital includes a maternity unit, emergency room, outpatients department, and 50 pediatric beds. The care is provided at a small fee to the patients. Some services are almost 15 times less than other hospitals. And if people are unable to afford the services, Sham insists that they will be helped regardless. Nobody should walk out of this campus without being treated. We don't mind paying some money, even if you have to pay for the medication, even if you have to pay for food and stay, we'll do it. That is very crucial. That is very, very necessary. In addition to the Women and Children's Hospital, the City Memorial Foundation also operates the City Shaligram Elderly Home, which offers residency as well as day programs such as yoga or spiritual music to comfort the seniors allowing them to age gracefully.
As a growing foundation working to provide quality care at minimal prices, the City Memorial Foundation relies on donations, partnerships, and support from both local and global organizations.